what's going on riders it's paul the ride home review and this week i'm going to talk about a star is born i know it's a little, a little bit late on that one but at least it was still in the theaters um and so uh there you have it so star is born uh stars of course bradley cooper and lady gaga and sam elliott as well as it's directed and is the directorial debut of Bradley Cooper. But before I get into that, um, don't forget to subscribe to Ride Home Reviews on YouTube. Face, like it on Facebook, follow on Instagram. And also, don't forget if you like it in the podcast format, it's on anchor.fm, Ride Home Reviews. So check that out. So the synopsis of the movie is pretty simple. Um, uh, it's, it's actually a remake. This, is, this movie has been remade a couple times before most recently with Barbara Streisand and Chris Christopherson. Um, but, uh, so it follows the story of a uh, veteran musician, a uh, veteran musical star that stumbles upon um, a hidden gem and who happens to be Lady Gaga, and they become partners, and then it, it blossoms from there. Their relationship blossoms from there, and, uh, and they go through their trials and tribulations. Um, what I liked about this film was it was a really damn good movie. Um, first and foremost, um, it does deserve the accolades uh, it has given. The, the concert scenes were absolutely spectacular. Um, uh, the cinematography in that, um, the camera work, which I'll get into a little bit later, uh, the editing. The editing, especially in the 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 uh, concert scenes was just absolutely stunning um, and just the pacing and the timing of that and the 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 performance and the cast was just so natural um, it just just everybody seemed like they had a handle on their character and who they were I mean everybody down to you know uh, the Dave Chappelle part you know his cameo and uh, the Andrew Dice Clay cameo you know it was just it just everything fit all the characters fit all the scenes fit um, it just was just a natural just seemed like everybody was just natural in this in this movie and that was really really awesome to see and it was just a well well put together film um, I never saw the originals that were that came that preceded it um, and so I didn't have a basis or a comparison to those uh, to, to this one, but I can see how this one really um, took it to a different level um, with the modernization of what they were doing. What I did not like um, about the film was that there was a huge plot point that went unexplored. I mean, it was hinted at, and I thought that they were going to head that way. I'm not going to give it up, but it just it fell flat and I thought that that was a big miss in the storytelling and the other aspect of it was it t tend to drag a little bit between the end of the second act into the beginning of the third act and it just kind of slowed down the pacing was so good and so solid and the performance is so good and so solid it seemed like you you noticed a noticeable decline in pacing um, in that in that area of the film what to watch for I really enjoyed the director, Bradley Cooper's choice, and the cinematographer's choice of being very up close and very in the face of everybody in the film. So you get to see their emotion, who they are, how they're thinking, what their reactions are going to be. It felt like you were part of the conversation as it was going on. It was just a great choice in that, and it really led to the intimate level that you had with the characters. Um, so that's it. Star is Born. What did I think? It was an excellent movie and should be a choice for Best Picture. Um, you should see it. And if you can get to the theater to see it, do so. Uh, other than that, um, subscribe on YouTube, follow on Instagram, like on uh, Facebook, and also anchor.fm for the podcast version. And until next week, watch something cool. Until next time, everybody.